All right, we're off to a good start. Definitely making, <laughs> making up for the good one next door. Great. Well, we are here in Lewisburg today. It has been a while since I was in Lewisburg and we are actually right outside the Goodwill and the Lewisburg Antique Mall. I'm going to go into the Goodwill first. I'm hoping that we find some goodies in there, but um, you just never know. I've, I don't think I've had very good luck here in the past, but maybe today's my day. I don't know. Let's head in. Here we go. All right. Well, it's nice and quiet in this Goodwill. It's also very sparse. <laughs> this is adorable. <laughs> All right. Musical tree. I kind of like that. It's probably contemporary, but it's like a bottle brush style tree. Gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, so it's Thousand Villages. It still has the original tag, but I love it so much. I'm gonna pick it up. Let's go this way. One thing I've noticed about this Goodwill is there's no music no music it's nice and quiet in here I'm kind of digging it oh look at this American Adelier and painted earthenware what is this oh my goodness that is so weird that it's cool <laughs> it's made from stone it's a foot dish it's a trinket dish. Yeah, I'll take that. It's weird enough that I like it. Made in Germany, $1.99. The contrast of colors on that. It is transfer, so it's not hand painted. I'll take that as well. Oh wait, oh, there's a chip. I felt it at the last minute. Place. I'm thinking to myself, you have so much art pottery, but I'm also like, oh, look how pretty it is. <laughs> okay. It has bugs on it and butterflies. Hmm. Hoffman Peck. Dish. It's kind of cute, but I don't think I'm going to pick that up. Lots of art pottery here. I like this shell dish. That's actually what I was going for when I got distracted. Shell dish, I should say. Shell box. There's damage on it there, so I'm not going to mess with it. We have enough stuff at the shop that isn't damaged. We don't really need to be bringing in damaged stuff unless I can't say no. Hi! I just saw one of these recently. Where was that? Do you guys remember? I picked it up. I looked at it. I determined that it was painted. It was not actually like purple glass. And then I set it back down just like I do right now. <laughs> All right. Well, let's move on to the next aisle. This Goodwill seems to have lots of clear glass. A little bit of fold scrap. liked it, but it's got a giant crack there. That's a bummer. More art pottery. That one's heavy and clunky. Doesn't really have good balance. Looks Italian, but <laughs> there's the chip. And pottery has a habit of being chipped. So 
I always have to look extra careful when I find it. All right, well. There's an owl figurine. This is the wood aisle, obviously. Was that there before? Built-in floral fog. Candlelight and posies. Weird. I like it. I'll take that. $4.99. I may have walked right by it the first time. Okay. And I think I did skip this aisle. There was somebody in this aisle, so I skipped it. So, Red Lobster Lighthouse things. Drink, drink, no. That's clever. Okay, there's a picture right up there. There's no glasses to go with it, though. Obviously, somebody was donating their stuff from the antique mall. All right, well, my total spend there at Goodwill was $14. I just put everything into my car, and we're gonna head over here to Lewisburg Antiques right next door. Um, and we're gonna meet up with Kate because Kate is waiting for us. She's really not into Goodwill, but she is into antiques. So we're gonna go meet up with Kate and see what we can find at Lewisburg Antiques. Here we go. You guys know I love Jim Shore, and that is a very sweet cat for $15. Looks like it has all of its tails and ears and all the things it's supposed to have. I think we'll grab that. And then I was actually eyeing up these sun catchers. Oh, is that an owl? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what it, oh, it is. It's two owls. I thought it was just an abstract thing, but no, it's owls. It's five bucks. And this. Five dollars. Okay. It's already off to a great start. Side glass puppy dog. Only six dollars. Hmm. So darling. Put him in there. All right. And this. What is this? I like that color. Oh, it's hull. Usually, I think of hull and I think of florals. This is a really neat mid-century modern shape for twenty dollars. We'll take that as well. Goodness. All right. I think we can leave now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's go check out this booth with all of the glass. Where do you five on that? You were too jingly with your keys. <laughs> I know. I tried to ignore it. You should have held them so they didn't jingle. You know, I love doing that. <laughs> oh, I, I hate when it happens. I love to that me. shirt on you. That's Thank a great you. color. A little mustard never hurt anybody. I'm wearing this shirt again today. I want one. I should have got one. <laughs> I absolutely love the pattern on this. This is, what is it, Royal, Royal Albert, Silver Birch. Creamer, sugar, and then these are $5 each. We'll take them. Are you heading over? I'm gonna finish this last aisle. Okay. <laughs> you can't say no to the stuffed animals. All right, let's stick these in here. That is a gorgeous carnival glass vase. You see the base color is cobalt blue. I just love how heavy the iridescence is on that. It's 30 bucks. I think that might be worth grabbing. Just decide to step in here and see what else they had. Lots of vintage hats. It's quite a bit of carnival, but this is really the piece speaking to me. And what is that? Oh, that's pretty. I wonder if that was supposed to be a lamp at first. It has the hole in the bottom, like it was supposed to be a lamp. Check out this guy. How much is he? 18 bucks. Czechoslovakia. <laughs> I love his face. I just happened to look behind me like, oh, I walked right by that booth. And he was staring at me from the shelf. He's fantastic. He's got a... I thought it was number two, but he's got a little mark on his collar there. 
Now I'll stick this in here. All right, we're off to a good start. Definitely making, making up for the good one next door. Ooh, that's pretty. What is that? 42. It's a beautiful dish. I like the color of that, but I don't know if I can pay 42 for it. Intelligent Hugging Bears. And I think I've had something similar to this in the past. We have 15 on that. <laughs> that is adorable. That's not really my style. That's more Kate's thing. That is so darling. <laughs> I kind of love it. I think I might grab that. What is this down here? Does that have a Murano sticker? I would actually be surprised if that said Murano. No, it says New Orleans. I was like, this doesn't really look Murano to me, but it is Japan. So a Majolica pitcher. Six on the Majolica pitcher. That has beautiful coloring. All right. Well, we're almost done with the first aisle. <laughs> I wonder if that one's Pilgrim. Our class aisle 26. Check out this paradise right here. This is amazing. I love the way it's staged. The lighting is perfect. It just draws. You win. It is wonderful. I actually saw that recently with Kate, that same piece when you were um, you were in Havre de Grace at Seneca Canning. This one is $149. That's so funny. I almost bought it. But it looks amazing just hanging suspended in the air. <laughs> it didn't look as great when it was on the wall um, against that, uh, what is that called? You know, the little holy board. That stuff. Um, but it looks really nice there. 69 on those. This is a really nice cabinet. I was actually looking at the price on that. $2.99. So I'm kind of just seeing how they did the lighting in this booth because it is so nice. And I'm realizing that they use all these little spotlights. Like over there, it's one of those clamp lights just to illuminate that cabinet. And I love that idea. I think I might have to use that in my booth. That is fantastic. What a wonderful idea. <laughs> that owl is so cute with those bee guys. All right, so I'm seeing some amazing glass in here, but it's kind of at full retail, so I don't know if I could do anything with it, but it's definitely worth acknowledging because there's some beautiful pieces. It's kind of a statement piece. $87 on that. I wonder if that is um, Czechoslovakia. Those are really neat. Oh, I've seen these before. They have like a rubber, like a rubber coating. I can't remember where I saw those, but I have seen those. $200. What are they called? Glamalite Tumbler Caddy. Aren't those neat? But it, it's not glass. It's like literal rubber. You can feel it on your hands today. I think those are not dishwasher safe. If I remember, they can't go through the dishwasher because that uh, rubbery stuff gets all messed up if you put them through the dishwasher. So it's not common to find a set. I don't see them very often. All right, what are we having here? There's a moon and stars candy dish for only 20 bucks. 20 bucks? I mean, we're coming into fall. And uh, Amber's going to be more of a thing. It's getting a little hairy in there, but I'm going to just lay this one down. Just like that. Wow. It's definitely the iridescence on that for me. It's gorgeous, heavy iridescence. $30, though. I don't know about $30. I love how heavy the... Sometimes it's just really sparse and you, you know, it's, you could see through the iridescence to the base color, but on that one it's so heavy. It really is nice. Alright, well here's another booth that I really enjoy. It's a very nice art glass. Oh gosh. 
This is by a particular artist. I have one. You guys might remember I picked it up at Goodwill because it looks like an eyeball. And then we were able to figure out who made it thanks to the con Oh, look. Made in Germany, U.S. So, but there's a particular maker who makes this. Um, and I cannot, every time I ask you guys, I'm like, can you remind me? I still can't remember. The one I have, I think, is a little bit... You know what? It might actually be the same size. And I've just been too afraid to ship it ever since I bought it. I figured, you know, eventually I'll have a shop and I'll put it in the shop. But I think 65 is a good price on that because um, that maker actually brings quite a bit of money. But I can't remember the maker. I can't remember the maker. That's kind of a neat covered bridge scene. Robert Day, 1974. Not that I need any more artwork. I don't see a price on that. There is no price on that. Bocetio base, 85. Beautiful yellow. I see uh, the remnants of a Rosenthal Netter sticker on there. I think we need to take that with us for $85 because I'm drawn to the yellow and because I feel like that's a fair price for that. Is it supposed to say Potosi? No, it looks like Bozitio. I know I'm not crazy. I think that's what it says. Ooh, what do we have here? That one's kind of a weirdo though because thin that opening is. $109.99. This one is $39.99. I think that glass is a little out of my price range. Let's see what we have back here on the cats, shall we? Oh, this one's cute with the collar. Has a broken ear though. $24.99 on this. And I'm kind of wondering if this glows. I feel like it's got the age potential to glow. So for $24.99, I'm going to pick this up. There's a cool looking kitchen booth. Lots of neat tables and cupboards. I love the Art Deco style of some of those cupboards. And this is really neat. And the condition that it's in is really quite amazing. Sponge painted kitchen cabinet, 325. That is so cool. What do we have here? It's actually really cute. <laughs> I probably wouldn't be as excited if it was just the dolphin, but the fact that the dolphin is on a ball, that's really what's doing it for me. $16, I think we'll grab that. Make sure we get that shut. There's a lot of glass in this booth. What a really cool glass that go down here. All right, well, I walked all the way around thinking I could get into this booth from the other side, and then I realized that this is the only entrance to the booth. But I noticed this from the other side, and I thought, wow, that's really pretty. I love the color of the glass. Um, it is $24. I don't know if this one's Murano or not. I'm not sure. But I love the color, so I'm going to pick it up. It's a nice piece of art glass. All right, there's my cart. <laughs> this is the only booth that I could pass through. All right. Yeah, that's really pretty. Let's see if we can nestle it in here with all of our other stuff. There we go. Everything's fine. All right, so this booth here is mostly vintage clothes. Some nice clothes, but I'm not a very fashionable person, so I know nothing about clothes. <laughs> These appear to be Fifth Avenue. Oh, Dale Tiffany. Dale Tiffany, not Fifth Avenue, but um, they don't really have a super high resale value, so I'm not gonna mess with those. I did notice this up here, and I thought that she was super cool, so I wanna get her down and get a closer look. Because she's really cool, $24. Retro sofa doll. I don't know what a sofa doll is, but I think she's pretty great. I don't even know. I'm like, do, do I need her? Do I want her? I mean, I guess we could take her. We could probably 
include her in our weirdo so she looks kind of sad though she looks a little sad and it's making me a little sad but let's let's take her with us I love this owl $50 huh I wonder who makes that because I have a few of the Blanco ones and I don't think I've seen this one before I don't know about 50 I mean I feel, I, I feel like that's probably retail on that but it's really neat I love the color I love that blue and these are adorable vintage boy and girl whistling shelf sitters they are so super cute I'm tempted on those <laughs> there's a skunk in the back all right well I think I'm almost I'm actually almost done look at her she's doing like some weird yoga pose well here's another fun booth <laughs> it's so great you have like two extremes you have you have the primitive but you also have the this and this is fantastic. This is my jam. I see it instantly. I see this over here. And I'm a little scared to look at the price. What do we have on the 65? Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And I think I might just buy it because of the color. I don't think I can get it out of here though. It's like, turn it maybe? It would, oh, there we go. Okay. Ooh, you really gotta finagle that one out of there. 65. I know that's like at the top. <laughs> it's like, ooh, that's a little, a little nerve-wracking. But look at the color on that. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I should probably hold it with two hands. We're going to go put it in our cart. All right, so I realized I was so distracted with the other booth that I kind of ignored this booth. And I just wanted to check it real quick while they're processing my stuff for checkout. Make sure I didn't miss anything. We've got lots of planters. And this fish just is really neat, but it's so long I'd be afraid to ship it. Little head bases down here. She's got a little wart on her nose. <laughs> it's like a little manufacturing defect. Alright, oh that's a really neat Art Deco style light. 35 on that. Wow. Only 35? Okay. That is so cool in Art Deco. And it looks like it was actually recently rewired as well, so that's fantastic. I think I'll take that. And, how did I miss the tumble up? Completely oblivious. Looks like it was supposed to have a stopper though. That is hand blown. $15. Alright, so we'll go add those to our <laughs> pile at the front. All right, with well, my total spend there was $541. Now, by the time I had gotten there, Kate had, was already wrapping up. She is so quick. When she's on a mission, she's on a mission. So she left. She went to um, Silver Moon Bargain Barn, and then she was heading over to Silver Moon Antique Mall, where I am now going to meet her again. But you guys are going to have to wait for that video. Um, and I will see all of you tomorrow. So long.